Oh, just another excuse from Katie Hobbs. I want to know why didn't she show up for the Democrat debate? She's afraid of taking the debate stage. She can't articulate her policies. And frankly, the policy she wants for Arizona would turn us into California. And I can tell you right now, that's not what Arizona wants. She's soft on the border. She doesn't care about securing the border. Her idea for the border is let Joe Biden handle it. He's the guy who got us in the trouble we're in right now. And we know from her record that she's out of touch when it comes to what families want. As a legislator, she co-sponsored legislation to start and introduce kindergartners to sex education. I don't know any parent who wants that. And that was something she pushed when she was in the legislature. She's out of touch. And I don't care who comes in to rally with her. Nobody's interested in Katie Hobbs. Why not debate your opponent? If you believe your opponent is, you know, has issues in the spreading conspiracy theories uh, about a stolen election and so mm -hmm. on, and it's not being truthful with the, the people of Arizona, why then not get on the debate stage and, and debate her? You know, not only is Carrie Lake, has she centered her entire platform around this election denialism, um, I didn't want to give her a bigger stage to do that. But additionally, she has shown that she's not interested in having any kind of substantive conversation. Um, she's only interested in creating a spectacle. But and I didn't you, want to be. If you were in the same space with her, wouldn't you be? Wouldn't it be easier to knock it down in front of everyone, in front of the most people? Because you're not stopping her from spreading yeah. whatever you believe that you she know, is I spreading by not debating her. She can go on television. She can talk about it. She can go in front of the the people of Arizona every single day and talk about it. But you're not confronting her on it. And it seems like it would be an easy fix if you stood up on a debate stage and, and confronted her about these issues. Look, we're six days out from the election and our campaign strategy is our campaign strategy. So we're moving forward. I'm continuing to make my case to the voters of Arizona, uh, whether or not uh, we debated in this race is not going to decide this election. So, um, you know, I just, we made a decision, didn't want to be a part of her spectacle. And she's not, uh, she, she won't answer these tough questions um, to, uh, to real reporters. She only talks but, to fake But Secretary, news it's not just her that you won't debate. You also did not debate your Democratic primary opponent, Marco Lopez. Why? And have you ever, I was, I, have you I ever? I was miles ahead of him. I was miles ahead of him in the race and won handily. It's a totally different situation here. Well, it's it's not debating your opponent again. Have you ever debated your opponent running for political yes, office? I yes, I have. Why do you think it wasn't important for people to see a debate in this election for governor at all? Uh, in the primary, I was focused on the general election. I was miles ahead of my op opponent. I won handily. Um, it wasn't an issue. Um, we're six days from the election, and uh, this is this is the decision we made. So.